morning, Stevie. Good morning. Last saw you uh, in an Irish pub uh, about probably about half eleven. Okay, that was the time then. We may have had but it's about midnight, actually, near the midnight. Okay, that makes it slightly worse because we may have had a few more pints. What time did you get in? Not that late. Probably like half one. All right. Yeah. Let's say that. <laughs> Morning. It's smart who's going to be the vagina, but I realise it's too early. So we stayed last night here in Edinburgh in the Hotel de Van. Lovely hotel, really nice. Only criticism, no square sausage. You're that's why I come to Scotland. It's for the sausage, it's for the square sausage. And I've been around three cafes as well, and I couldn't find square sausage. Edinburgh, you wouldn't get this in Glasgow. You would not get this problem. Jack, your first time in Scotland. How'd you enjoy it? Loved it, mate. Everyone was so nice, friendly. Um, weren't a big fan of the hotel. No? Not a big fan of posh hotels that try and do too much. That one was like a maze, couldn't, couldn't ever find my room. The guy, I said to the guy, I went, is there not a sign for my room? He went, yeah, there is a sign. I was like, all right, oh, can you show me the sign, please? And then he took me to my room and went, there's the sign. Well, yeah, I'm at my room now, the sign is surplus. But apart from, <laughs> apart from that, and there was a bath in the living area, in the bedroom. Yeah, there wasn't in our rooms, mate, it's just because you got your little Tory room. Yeah, it? but that's not, I don't, it's not good. That's like, you're getting less room. You've got a bath in front of your bloody partner. You could have asked me to swap, I would have loved the bath last night. You could have done it. You could have asked me to swap. Yeah, well, I didn't ask know. Me next time. I didn't know. Ask me next time. I didn't know. Yeah, well, you asked me Scotland next time. Scotland was lovely. John, there have been a few people in the video comments who say you've inspired them to look into tour managing as a career. Okay. What, what does a tour manager do, for people who don't know? Uh, designated grown-up would be a, a brilliant description of my job. Um, I mean, it depends upon the tour, um, but, uh, you know, I, I flit between sort of two main jobs, which is production manager and tour manager. Um, as a tour manager, obviously I am over everything to do with the tour, everything. If something goes wrong, it's not somebody else's fault, it's my fault. And that, but that generally means as tour manager is you're usually looking after the artists uh, predominantly. Um, so as a production manager, that's more basically all of the technical side of basically a tour. So that's... So when I'm a production manager, I'm the person that walks into the building, I'm the first one in the building, and I'm the last one out. Um, so what are you an outdoor? Uh, both, um, kind of. So I basically organise and make sure all the technical side is taken care of and is ready um, for uh, my tech on this tour, the lovely Pietro, uh, so that he can basically walk in and he's got crew there. They know what we need. Uh, lighting, sound, staging wise, so basically when Pietro turns up and walks in, they expect him and they know what's coming. To get into this industry, I mean I would caution anybody, um, because it's not for everyone. Um, there's lots of people can do physically and mentally, definitely, um, what I do for a living, but there's a lot more to it, it is a lifestyle. Um, there's a very old saying that says it's really, really difficult to get on the road, it's even more as I say, we're, 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 we're gypsies, we, you know, we're travelling people, we, you know, we never sleep in the same bed twice and you either love that and it's something that you basically you know, uh, enjoy um, or it's not for you and I absolutely, uh, I love being at home, which sounds ridiculous, um, but touring for a living and the kind of touring I do, I'm incredibly lucky. I would suggest to anybody, get involved with your local theatre. Um, go and see what's going on. Maybe see if you can go and crew on a couple of shows. Um, and, you know, see if it's something that you enjoy. I mean, as I say, working backstage and in the technical side of theatre is it's a it's a it's a tough job. It's very very long hours, ridiculously stupid hours, um, and the the money isn't great. It can be okay. But in generally speaking, theatre um, has been royally shafted for many years. Um, so the people that work in it, um, you know, a lot of them 
um, there is an, an element of you do it because you love it. And here we are. Lovely Newcastle. Mount Maison's our home for tonight. Stayed here before. It's lovely. Very nice. Checked in the hotel. Now we're going to have a pizza. We're at a place called Square. The man behind the counter here invited us down on Instagram. And uh, it's a... He's sweating behind there now because he's sweating he's... the pressure's on. <laughs> the best pizza. Oh, oh no. you dropped yeah, it, he dropped it as well. <laughs> there we go, Ryan. Nice. Three nice. Bada Bings. Nice. Enjoy. Nice. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Yeah. This is called a Bada Bing. It's good, isn't it? Bada it does look bing. good. I think this is the theatre up here. This is a crazy one, you're going to love this. So this is literally, uh, as far as theatres go and tradition goes, this is a doozy. So this was originally built, this is a Frank Matcham theatre. Doozy! And Frank Matcham is the god of architecture of theatres, because he made the ability to have a shitload of seats in a very small space Ooh. by basically making cantilevered. So the dress circle, the upper circle, all of those, uh, the different tiers that you see, that's Frank Matcham. So, boy, it's gone very dark. So we are once again on a rake stage, gentlemen. A little bit of a rake. Is that the slant? Guys, can we put the house lights up, please? Oh. <laughs> very, very oh, similar to Cardiff. Today's theatre fact Go on. is an easy one. So what we're going to talk about is the Iron Curtain. Now that sounds like something to do with the Russians. It isn't. What that is, is that basically what cuts off the front of house, the punters, from the backstage area. So obviously, especially theatre going back, lots of very thin, cheap wood, lots of paint, lots of very flammable things. And as discussed before, when we were talking about the ghost lamp, shit tended to catch on fire. So what you have in theatres is basically a curtain, which we will have to show to the audience, which drops down, and it's a fire safety curtain. And it means if fire breaks out basically backstage, they drop this curtain down and it doesn't go front of house. Mm. So uh, I think it was the 80s, all of this basically burnt down. But all of this, which is just stunningly beautiful, yeah. um, was saved because they dropped the Iron Curtain in. Wow. So quite often when you go to the theatre in the interval, you will see this big curtain come down and then it will go back out again because by law, we have to show the Iron Curtain to the audience. We have to show them a working Iron Curtain. Still just going on about how sexy Pietro is. Yeah, people were asking in the vlog, oh, I said, oh my God, there's Pietro. She's absolutely hench. She's fucking gorgeous. <laughs> I'm bullshit, guys. <laughs> Jack, I don't think you said you were just going to change out your trainers and put on your stage trainers, and you've just changed completely identical pairs of trainers. <laughs> yeah, but these are, these are pristine. Yeah. And these are a little bit, sort of... Yeah. This is what all the peasants oh, yeah. stand on at the oh, stage yeah. door. Our friend Frankie's come down today. Frankie, you're a musician. How, how does our sound check compare to music sound checks? It's a dream. It's a dream come true, your sound check, compared to mine. Um, you don't have to worry about drums, which we've just been talking about. <laughs> Bass, obviously. Two guitars. Um, vocals. Singing. But, I mean, you have done a lot of vocals, but, mm. you know. Does it take you long to warm up your vocals before a show? Uh, what happens is, you try your best, but inevitably, the first night, you blow it out to spend the rest of the tour trying to make it better. Oh, really? Vocal zones and... Oh wow. Oh, Steam. Like yeah, and things like that. They're these, um, these yeah. things that make like, clear your throat, oh. but they give me very bad diarrhea as well. Frankie, we have a, you're a front man in a band. We have a song at the end and we have to sing and stuff on the stage. Yeah. I'm not sure our stage presence is perfect yet. We just sort of walk around a little bit. You got any tips for like what to do while singing? Yeah, just give it a thousand percent. Because if you don't, you just look like a dick. Oh, I've been going about 40%. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've been going like 33, maybe? Right, so, so, yeah. so we've been go I always skip. Is skipping good? I think so. Yeah. Show us what we do. You're never that active. No. You're I'm never that active. I've been, I've, I've been going like that. That's quite hip-hop. No, you have We are very hip-hop. Yeah. You have been doing that. Well. I like to say ah, that. So have you got some good things that we can do, Frank? Can you give us some, give us some stuff? Um, you know, make yourself large on stage. Always large. Shit. Always large. Yeah. Uh, Always large. Project your voice to the back of the room, all that kind of thing, you know. Uh, wow. Enunciate. Enunciate. 
Imagine everyone naked, those kind of tips, you know? <laughs> I mean, you, you were anyway, weren't you? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Happy hour guest himself, Robert Temple. Hey! Coming back on soon. If you want me to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really weird, because he walked in a room and I instantly forgot my name. <laughs> <laughs> Alfie's been giving it the big one, until Robert walked in going, I know he didn't actually do it, and you two have been I playing up to it. Bluffing. Right, and now, and now that now the big man's here, you're yeah, not saying it. I, mean, I, I, feel your, I feel the energy now, and I'm scared. You've played it before, haven't you? <laughs> I have, yeah, loads of times. This is. I always try and finish my tour here because this is my home turf, oh. and so this is a nice place to finish up. How, how far away do you live from here? Like half an hour. Okay, all right. Brilliant. Nice theatre. Beautiful theatre. Stevie, you look so cool <laughs> today. Stop face. Do you not think Stevie looks cool? Yeah. <laughs> it's the Hell, fringe. Copy, copy this every day. It's weird that people have been nice to me. Like oh, I like it actually. You're, you're, you're building me up right now to fucking shoot me down yeah. for the next two hours. Yeah. The, the fringe and the beard and the skin fade, that's... You know, I don't, don't know where he's coming from. Jackie doesn't know! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Someone... Who? I'll be riding shotgun underneath the hot sun Feeling like a sun We're yeah. going on the stage. You guys are going further than that. You can go further. That's your line, boys. That's your line. Let's have a look under the stage, see if we can see what's going on. Hang on. Oh, look. There's the stage. There's the theatre. It's Jack Williams! Really enjoying this one so far. Let's just hope the confessions and Q and A go down well. But so far, they probably will. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful crowd. Look at this is our riders That's today. They've got a lot of stuff today. A lot of snacks. I don't know where they've come from, but thank you, whoever's in charge of that. Playing your banger. Playing my banger. Getting everyone pumped uh, with a little song called "All My Friends Are Depressed," um, which is basically about you guys. <laughs> Being fucking miserable. Good, well, we deserve <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah, enjoy the second half. Go for it. New best night? Oh, it was a good night, that, wasn't it? Beast Cardiff? <sighs> Beast Cardiff? Do you think it beats Cardiff? It might be Cardiff. Do you think it beats Cardiff? I think a couple in the second half ruined it, so Cardiff's still top for me. Oh. Cardiff marginally. Newcastle, still second. second. Yeah. Do you know what? I think we have to go to VAR. It could be either way. Okay, wow. So a lovely lady called Kim came up to me and Jack earlier when we went to play Throw the Arrows, as, as, as we like to say. Literally no one likes to say that. We were throwing the arrows, and uh, this lovely lady called Kim at Twizadoras gave us these Madagascan vanilla cupcakes with our faces on. That's the best vanilla, Madagascan. It's my favourite vanilla. Of all vanillas, that's up there, isn't it? Yeah. Fucking love that. Thank you, Kim. Then it gets dangerous for you, it gets dangerous for us. I take the boys back inside, game that's over. Expensive. Okay, that's the pure safety telling everyone to behave. <laughs> Oh, and he's making them laugh. He's doing stand-up out there. <laughs> he probably just said my Bazinga joke. <laughs> that was a bigger laugh than we got all night. Yeah. That's great. Just try not to crush in. Say. We like your speech. We like your speech. Yes! You sound so sexy, isn't you? Just signing this guy's head. <laughs> Oh, thank it's you. Amazing, isn't it? Brilliant. Oh, perfect. Thank, thank you. Guys. Thank you. Cheers. A lot of people out there tonight to say hi to, but we've got, got through them all. I still think I managed to take photos with everyone who wanted one. Really good crowd. I think probably one of the most, probably the most lively at the end. We have a little sing song and they sung along really well. Really fun. It's been nice because I keep meeting people that I've met that I've met online. If you know what I mean. There's a girl called Eve who's. Um, been really supportive over the years. I saw her, I saw um, a guy gave you a glorious pizza oven as well, sort of thing. So these people that you know from online, they go, I'm this person. You go, ah, yay. That's cool, so it's been really good. 
And I think I'm going to get an early night tonight. I'm relatively early. Nearly 11. Cheers.